work done on an ideal gas in a quasi-static adiabatic process. A thermally insulated ideal gas has a molar specific heat Cv at constant volume independent of temperature. Suppose that this gas is compressed quasi-statically uh, from an initial macro state, initial volume B initial and initial mean pressure P initial to a final macro state with final volume B final and mean pressure P final. Calculate directly the work done on the gas in this process, expressing your answer in terms of the initial and final pressures and volumes, and express your answer to part A in terms of initial and final absolute temperatures. Show that this result would follow immediately from a consideration of the change of internal energy of the gas. So let's start with part A. The work done, uh, quasi-static work done on a gas is minus the integral from initial state to final state uh, P bar dB. And because it's thermally insulated, uh, this implies uh, Q is equal to zero adiabatic process. So I have P bar V2 gamma is a constant. So throughout the process, P bar V to gamma is P initial bar V initial to gamma, which is also P final bar V final to gamma. So this will be always true. So I can write uh, P bar as P initial bar V initial to gamma divided by V to the gamma. And gamma, remember, is the ratio Cp over Cv. And we also have Cp minus Cv is equal to the universal gas constant, R. So if I perform this integral, the macroscopic work done will be minus V initial to V final. For P bar, I substitute P initial bar V initial to gamma divided by V to gamma dV, and this will be minus P initial bar V initial to gamma integral from V initial to V final V to the minus gamma dV, and this will be minus P initial bar V initial to gamma divided by minus gamma plus 1 V to the minus gamma plus 1 between initial and final states. So I will find that the work done is minus, uh, so I can operate the minus sign at the denominator, P initial bar, V initial to gamma, divided by 1 minus gamma, V final to 1 minus gamma, minus V initial to 1 minus gamma. So, uh, let me make sure that this is correct. So this was uh, 1 over minus gamma plus 1, which is 1 minus gamma. So I have operated the minus sign, so it becomes... Uh, so let's keep this as 1 minus gamma, but operate the minus sign here. So this becomes plus, this becomes minus. Okay, so with that, uh, let me remind myself what is 1 minus gamma. Uh, 1 minus gamma is 1 minus Cp over uh, Cv. So this would be equal to uh, Cv, Cv minus Cp divided by Cv. So that is uh, minus R divided by Cv. So this would be minus R divided by uh, Cv. So here I have uh, R divided by, uh, because I have 1 over 1 minus gamma, it will be Cv divided by R. Uh, and because I had the minus sign here again, uh, this will become uh, P initial bar V initial to gamma, uh, V final to 
uh, 1 minus gamma, so the minus sign will disappear, and then this will become minus P initial bar, V initial to gamma, V initial to 1 minus gamma. So here I have gamma plus 1 minus gamma, so this is going to be equal to P initial bar, V initial to gamma. And for this one, I'm going to substitute, this is CV over R, P initial, uh, V initial gamma is also equal to P final, V final to gamma. So this is P final, V final to gamma, V final to 1 minus gamma, minus P initial, uh, V initial. So the gammas will cancel here. This will be minus P initial, V initial. And this is going to give me also here uh, P final, V final, because one, one minus gamma and pl plus gamma will become one. So this will be giving me finally for the work done CV divided by R P final bar V final minus P initial bar V initial. So as you can see, I obtained a very simple expression for the quasi-static work done on an ideal gas. Part B uh, now is asking me to obtain the answer in terms of uh, temperature. So the work done on the gas is CV divided by R. For P final, V final, because PV is equal to nu RT, I'm going to substitute nu RT final minus nu RT initial. So the R's will cancel, as you can see here. I will obtain nu times uh, CV, molar specific heat, T final minus T initial, which is the heat capacity times delta t so this is the heat capacity times t final minus t initial so that is the work done on the gas new cv t final minus t initial now the mean energy of the gas if i look at the change in the mean energy of the gas it is the e final minus e initial it is the integral from t initial to t final uh, derivative del e bar del t uh, at constant volume dt. So this will be equal to the integral t initial to t final nu cv dt, which is nu cv t final minus t initial. So delta e bar is equal to q plus w and q is uh, zero here adiabatic process therefore i find that w is equal to delta e bar which is nu cv t final minus t initial so uh, i i see that this also follows from a uh, consideration of the internal energy of the gas so w also follows from the change in the mean internal energy because with the adiabatic process that is equal to the work done on the gas. Okay, so we worked on uh, an ideal gas that is going through a quasi-static adiabatic process. What is the work done on the gas? It's minus the integral initial state to final macro state P bar dV and Pressure times volume to gamma, uh, to the power gamma, is always a constant, and that constant is P initial V initial to gamma, or P final V final to gamma. Gamma is CP over CV ratio, and CP minus CV we have shown to be equal to R. So 1 minus gamma is uh, minus R over CV, so there is a minus sign here. And the work done is then minus the integral V initial to V final, P initial V initial to gamma divided by V to gamma. Uh, that is the pressure as a function of volume. So here I obtained pressure as a function of volume. Uh, and 
the initial v initial to gamma is a constant v to the minus gamma integral gives me one minus gamma v to minus gamma plus one uh, evaluated between initial and final uh, states that gives me a Min uh, p initial v initial to gamma I operated the minus sign uh, for v final to 1 minus gamma minus v initial to 1 minus gamma becomes minus v final to 1 minus gamma plus v initial to 1 minus gamma then I realized that 1 over 1 minus gamma is minus cv over r so I operated the minus sign again so, so that I have v final term plus v initial term with the minus sign then I multiply with p initial to v initial to gamma, so I distribute it into the parentheses. The second term is p initial v initial. The first term is p initial v initial to gamma v final to 1 minus gamma. But since p initial v initial to gamma is equal to p final v final to gamma, that is p final v final. So my final answer written in terms of the initial and final pressures and volumes is cv over r p final v final minus p initial v initial then i use the ideal gas uh, pv uh, p v is equal to nu rt ideal gas law i substitute that and i obtain the work done to be nu cvt final minus t initial or heat capacity times delta t now the change in the internal energy is a molar specific heat dt uh, evaluated from initial temperature to final temperature and this is going to give me new cvt final minus t initial and indeed that must be equal to the work done because it's a debat process q is equal to 